In Windows 11, I'm going to show you how to set up remote desktop so you can connect to your computer from another computer. And I have to be at least on Windows Pro or Enterprise. It doesn't work on the home version. So I'm going to click on the Start menu, and then I'm going to click on Settings. And once Settings open up, I'll next click on System, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Remote Desktop. And here I see the option to enable remote desktop. So I'll go ahead and click on Enable and Confirm. And it should automatically open up port 3389 to get into the computer. And I'll show you what to do in case it doesn't and it doesn't work for you. Now I need to say who has access to this computer using remote desktop. So I'll click on Select Users and click Add. And any users that you've already added into the Users section in the System Settings, you can go ahead and type here. Now, I only have one user in here, and it's just the letter X. And that user already has access, but I'll just go ahead and add it anyway and click OK. Now, what to do if this doesn't work? Well, you, what you want to do is you want to go into the Windows Defender Firewall. So we'll click on Update and Security. And we'll type in Firewall. There's Windows Defender Firewall. And I'll click on Advanced Settings. I'll click on Inbound Rules, and I'll create a new rule. So I'll click on New Rule, and it's asking me what type of rule. I'm going to say it's a port rule. Next. And I'll just type in 3389. That's all you got to do. Next. Allow the connection is checked. Next. All three different types of network connections are checked. That's fine. I can explain what that is in another video. I'm just going to call this Remote Desktop for the name of the rule and click Finish. And you notice it puts it right at the top of the list. Now you only have to do this if Remote Desktop doesn't work. If it works, you don't have to worry about it. Now I'm going to go down to open up Remote Desktop on my host computer. This is a virtual machine host and the Windows 11 is a virtual machine. But it doesn't matter as far as your connections go. And I'm going to put in the IP address of my computer running Windows 11 and I've put in the username of X and I've put in my password and let's see what happens. I'll choose to accept the certificate and look at that there is my Windows 11 using remote desktop.